Evaluate if possible the function at the given values of the independent variables simplify the results. For number 4, we have f sub x is equal to square root of x plus 3. Now, we will substitute negative 2 in our x. So, the f of negative 2, this only implies that x is equal to negative 2. So, what we are looking for is at what at what y values or y coordinate does the graph corresponds to x is equal to negative 2. So, meaning the f of x is the y coordinate. This is the y coordinate. Now, if you said f of x is equal to y or the f of x, this will uh, means that uh, the y at x is at a certain uh, value that you choose. So, since our x is independent, we can choose any number. So, for this case, we have x is equal to negative 2 for our y. So, here, we will substitute negative 2 for our uh, x. So, we have square root of negative 2 plus 3. Now, negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So, square root of 1 is 1. Now, you can say uh, the square root corresponds to positive and negative. Yes, uh, square root of a number is equal to positive and negative. But if you will graph this, the f of x is equal to square root of x plus 3. The domain of this will be x plus 3 should be greater or equal to 0 because if it is less than 0, then it's a negative, then it will be imaginary number. So, subtract 3 both sides, so we have x is greater or equal to negative 3. So, meaning, our graph, if we will graph it, so 1, 2, uh, 3, it will be here, that is our uh, minimum value. Our domain is, domain will be from negative 3 to infinity. So, we can choose any number and the minimum amount or value or of x coordinate is negative 3 and we can choose any number after that. So, we can choose positive number or 0 or we can say uh, it will be uh, positive 6. So, uh, this is negative 3 and if x is negative 3, our y will be 0 if we substitute negative 3 over there. Then if it is 6, it will be square root of 9, which is positive 3. Now here we have 1, 2, 3. So the graph is this. So if it is this, there's no negative y. So if it is there's no negative y for our radical equation, or the graph of our radical equation, then we cannot do the negative one here. So when you do the square root, it's only positive if you're doing a radical function. Now for f sub 6, so we will substitute 6 plus 3. So this will be square root of 9, and square root of 9 is 3. Again, we will do only the positive because in the graph, we don't have the negative. Then here we will have negative 5 plus 3, so this will be square root of negative 2, and that will be imaginary. Now, as we have said, the minimum domain of this is negative 3, so meaning the negative 5 is somewhere here outside the graph, so the negative 5 is not part of the graph, so this one is undefined or doesn't exist because the graph doesn't exist at x is equal to negative 5. Then this one will be, we will substitute this x plus delta x in place of our x. So this will be x plus delta x plus, we have the 3 over there. So the answer of this is just like x plus delta x plus 3. 
and we cannot simply apply this further because we don't have the other information that we can evaluate this uh, letter D.